Yeah, hi there. So we're trying to prepare a high sense uh, fridge freezer, American style. Um, and so what happened is, is the ice, the ice um, release button had snapped off underneath. So they sent us out a whole new panel that um, obviously it needs to come out, which means you need to take this off. So there's a screw underneath here, which goes into that hole there. So you need to unscrew that and then pop this panel off. And gently ease this clip on the side um, and then you ease something plastic around it so these are like car panel poppers and you can see the clips now as you start to pop this panel off there you go so just obviously be careful with that um, and then the clips are at the front here so you need to slide in to release your clips and then the whole thing should pop out obviously make sure you've unplugged it first before you do any disconnections and then it's just a case of replacing it in situ okay okay so you just ease that connector out gently from there obviously put your nail on the red bit pull out don't pull by the wires put that securely on the side <laughs> right um then obviously you need to get a screwdriver in here just to try and release that clip um, I'm probably going to need one each side. Look at that. There we go. Then you should just ease down slightly. these two screws here to loosen because the, the, this unit needs to be loosened off uh, disconnect your water hose okay so the new unit has two clips on the back so you need to get up underneath to push that off um, and then this is just clipped at the back so pop up underneath push and so the whole unit releases it comes with a bit of a clatter, but don't worry, and then this slides out. So obviously this back edge here sits inside there, so it's quite awkward. So you've got to remember that when you put that back in, you've got to get it all back in and then clip it all back into place. So making sure your wires are all out of the way. Let's locate that properly out of the way. And you've got to kind of get that back up and in. That's it. So it's all kind of clipping into place. Just make sure that's set first. Okay, double check your wiring. Make sure that's all located nicely before you kind of force the, the front unit in up into its slots. In, make sure your side clips are in. That's fine. That's fine. Back clips are all in. So this is the case now with we connecting your wiring up. You can't go wrong because they're they're keyed anyway. Uh, so let's do the bottom one first because it'd be easier. You hear the click? Obviously, that's for your outboard. Tuck that in up under there. Double check. Okay. Um, so now, what we need to do is just redo the screws. Just nip them up, not, not too tight. 
So uh, use a hand tool, not electric screwdriver, it'll really be easier. Unless you know what you're doing, of course. Okay, just see that setting into place, that's nice. Get that up. Okay. Get the one in underneath. Okay, and that's coming into there. End panel. So this is your control panel. So this is make sure you locate it the right way. Connector in. Again, this is only going one way. Make sure that's located. Clips in. Make sure it's all nice and flush, which it isn't. Okay, plug it back in. Check if it's working. Ice box. Beautiful. <laughs> well done.